America. Good morning. I'm having my coffee. Thinking about the unfolding events here <clears throat> regarding the recent deaths of some police officers in New York, in Florida. And I'm just feeling that what we have, it's crazy, but I feel like America, we have an opportunity for some long overdue dialogue. I don't condone violence. <clears throat> I don't think it in and of itself ever solves anything. So I hope any and everyone who does take a look and a listen to this contribution of mine to the conversation comes away with at the very least as long as anyone is doing poorly no one is able to fully reach the heights that are possible. So when we just ignore whatever, homelessness, ah, that doesn't bother me, the bum, get a job. We all want to be acknowledged. It's just basic. It's just basic. We all want respect and dignity. As a black man who's been stopped needlessly and subjected to police harassment, I understand the rage that is being expressed right now. I don't condone it, but I understand it. I'm only surprised there haven't been more dead white people and cops before now. I really am. However, what you're seeing in white America is that the past behavior will no longer be tolerated. And and it kind of feels like, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to get it. I don't know if you're going to get it uh, or if you're just going to keep listening to the sound bites like people, Bill O'Reilly and Ted Nugent and Michelle uh, Bachman or Sarah Palin or Rick Santorum. All of these people who I don't know where they're living, but it's not in this day and age. And again, until we have this dialogue, this honest dialogue, which means you gotta look at some shit, people. Everybody's gotta look at some shit. But white America, the collective consciousness that allowed that's been allowing this sort of uh, reckless behavior in the in the police departments. You you have to look in the mirror. Every problem, every opportunity or or chance for achieving your potential is at your fingertips. Just look in the mirror. It starts with you. It starts with me. I just felt like I couldn't be quiet anymore. Who am I? Just a guy. Self-employed. Trying to do his thing. Make the world a better place. One garden at a time. But it's my home too. This place called America. So all of this finger pointing. Look in the mirror. That's where it starts. 
And if we don't talk about this in an honest, forthright, engaging, respectful, civil manner, it, it's, it'll be more upheaval than I think would be necessary if we decide to start a dialogue. So, at your own peril, keep doing the dumb shit, America, and you keep getting the same results. Nothing changes till something changes. What are you doing? I'm just going to end on on this note. Um, seems like poets and musicians, uh, prophets, they're tuned into something high frequency that most folks just can barely comprehend. But there's this poet by the name of Rumi, and essentially he had a little thing that said, uh, today, and I may mess this up, but the, but, but the gist of it is, today I decided to change the world, and then I realized I should start to change myself. Or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying. It's corny, but be the change you want to see. If you want to stay stuck on stupid, you know, that's your God-given right, American. But uh, that's just more of the same, and we need different. It's going to be painful, for sure, these dialogues, this confrontation. you got to embrace it. It's the only way we can move forward. The fire is, is either going to melt your ass or it's going to forge you into a stronger tool. Be a warrior for peace. What you know about that? Let's start a dialogue. Let's be civil. At the very least, we can agree to disagree. How about that? Okay, let the dialogues begin.